Hey, what's up everybody, Rich Gaming Guy here. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can take your Steam Deck and turn it into a portable Wii console. Super easy to do. You only need a couple things in addition to, of course, your Steam Deck. So what I like to use is a docking station. Docking station gives you the ability to get some additional ports on your Steam Deck, plus it also continues to charge it or keep the charge on it. And it also gives you the ability to sit it nicely in that docking station. You don't have to sit this flat. It puts it at a perfect angle so you can play along with it on screen while it's in the docking station, or you can simply connect it to a TV or a monitor. If you don't want to use a docking station, you can get an adapter like this. It takes your type C connection and it turns it into some additional ports here. So we can get USB connections on here. There's micro SD card slots on here as well. Not that you would need that for this process, but it's nice to have. In addition to that though, we're going to need a Mayflash Dolphin Bar. That's going to be our sensor. It connects via USB connection, either on that adapter or on your docking station. And you're also going to need some original Wii controller. So what I like to use is the original Wii remote. And then I'll also use the Wii nunchuck on games that require both the remote as well as the nunchuck for the game to function properly. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set this up. For this video, I'm going to be demoing it directly on the Steam Deck. Not how I would typically play, but I want to make sure that you guys know that what I'm using here is in fact the Steam Deck and I'm not just putting a different sort of setup together and kind of faking the video. Uh, I know a lot of people out there do do stuff like that. I don't, so I wanna show you guys exactly how it works on the Steam Deck itself. Just know that you don't have to play it as I'm playing it on this small screen. You can also play it attached to a TV or monitor. All you have to do is on the backside of your docking station or on this adapter, you're gonna find an HDMI connection. Just run an HDMI cable from this or your docking station up to your TV and you'll be able to use this just like you would a Nintendo Switch console. So really cool to have all of these options, but let's dive into it. I'll show you the exact setup here and how you can get all these amazing games functioning and running on both the Steam Deck or, again, on your TV or monitor through the Steam Deck. Let's get started. All right, so here I have my Steam Deck. I've already booted up Botticera on here. You can see I have a Wii collection on this particular image that I'm using. Now, currently I've just sat my Steam Deck into my docking station here. I haven't made any connections yet. It doesn't really matter what docking station brand you use. They're all going to pretty much offer the same connection ports in the back, which is typically going to be three USB ports. And I'll actually turn this all the way around so you guys can take a quick look. I've done a full video on this particular docking station, but we have three USB, three ports in the back. Over here we have our HDMI. So if we want to connect this via HDMI cable to a TV or monitor, we can certainly do that. That is going to better the experience there. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to connect the power supply cable to the Steam Deck here. So now we're able to actually use all of these ports and everything is connected to the Steam Deck. The regular power supply that goes to the power outlet, which you can see the cable over there going up to a power outlet, that plugs into the back of your docking station and basically it just extends that up through this cable here to the Steam Deck. So next thing that we're going to need, I'm gonna just push this back so we have a little bit more space here, is we are going to need an original Nintendo Wii Remote. So here I have my Wii Remote. You can pick these up used um, on eBay, Amazon. Usually you're gonna pay anywhere from like 12 to 25 bucks depending on condition. So I'm gonna set that aside. Next thing we're going to need is a Mayflash Dolphin Bar. This is going to be the sensor that our Wii Remote connects to. So this is gonna pick up all your motion. It looks just like this. We have a couple different modes on here. We're gonna to go to mode four though. So I'm going to show you the other end of this. It's a USB. You can see right here, make sure that you're not using a sensor bar that looks like this with a original Wii connection on here, not USB. Only thing that's gonna work here is the USB one. So I'll put links to all of this stuff in the description of this video. So I'm just gonna plug that into any of the USB ports on the back of the docking station. So at this point, it's getting power so we can turn this back around. So now on the back side of our Mayflash Dolphin Bar, if we turn this around, you're gonna see, I know it's a little bit tough here because it doesn't really stand out, but there's a setting right here that says top and bottom. You wanna switch this to wherever you're gonna have the sensor bar. And if you're using this like this here, you're going to have it on the bottom. And you can just 
rest it right in front of your Steam Deck just like that, and it's gonna work perfectly. Now, if you were to connect your Steam Deck over to a TV or monitor, then you would mount this either above or below your TV. So let's pretend the Steam Deck here is our TV screen, not our actual Steam Deck. You would mount it either underneath like that, you could put it on a shelf, or you can actually mount it. This, the uh, Mayflash Dolphin Bar does come with a mount. You can stick it underneath your TV like this or over top like that. And you just have to make sure that you have the setting enabled on the back to bottom or top. Again, dependent on where you're going to be placing this. So I'm gonna be demoing right on the Steam Deck today. So I'm going to just leave it on bottom, make sure that it is set to bottom, it is. And we're just gonna leave it right in front of our Steam Deck while it's docked, just like this right here. You wanna make sure that you have your mode set to four. So there's four numbers across here. Make sure you're set to mode four. And you can adjust this by just hitting the mode button. So you can see it just switches one, two, three, and then four is where we want to be. So I'm gonna just tuck all these cables behind here just to make this nice and neat. So it's gonna just rest right in front there and just pull the camera back ever so slightly. And now we need to sync up our Wii Remote with our Mayflash Dolphin Bar. So in order to sync this up, just open up the back of your Wii Remote like this. And you're going to notice next to your batteries, you have a little red button over here. You're gonna hold that red button and hold the sync button on your Mayflash Dolphin Bar. This should be actually already linked up. So if I just hit any button on the Wii Remote, should flash a couple times. You see, we get a blue light over here and then blue light over here. So this is actually synced up and ready to go. We don't have to go into Botticera, do any mapping within our image or anything like that. All right, so now that we got everything set up and connected, we're gonna jump into our Wii collection and let's jump into Wii Sports. So I'm gonna show you guys how this actually registers on here. It's gonna ask us to hit the A button so it knows we have the proper controls. So we hit A and we get into the game. Now it's gonna ask us press A and B together. So we'll hit A and B together and you'll see registers perfectly on here. So let's jump into some baseball. All right, so this is just the practice part here, but you can see as I just move my Wii remote that I'm able to track this perfectly. So I can just wiggle it back and forth. I can swing with it. It just tracks it just as it would on the original Wii console. So absolutely no difference here in the performance. There we go, home run, first time. Works great. Absolutely no issues with this at all. No lags, delays, nothing. I couldn't ask for a better first pitch and hit, um, you know, using this setup here. So now another thing that we can do, we just jumped out of Wii, is we can go into some light gun games. So let's go into Big Buck Hunter. You can use a light gun casing like this for your Wii remote and be able to play light gun games right on here as well. So hitting the um, trigger or pulling the trigger rather is going to give you the same sort of experience here as just hitting the A button as you set up the game. So let this load in, I'm pulling the trigger to just kind of advance through all of this. All right, so let's try this out. Where else is he? Perfect, again, works great with this. Now I'm kind of askew here because I have the cameras in front of me filming the actual Steam Deck, but it works great. I couldn't ask for better tracking on here. It works exactly again as it would on an original Wii Remote uh, or Wii Remote with a Wii um, console. All right, guys, you can see firsthand exactly how easy it is to actually set up. Now, again, I said this in the beginning, the reason that I used everything on the actual Steam Deck here and didn't use it connected to a TV or monitor is because I just wanted everybody to be absolutely positive that I was, in fact, using the Steam Deck for the demonstration of this video. So you can use it on the TV or monitor. That's probably the preferred way to do it in all honesty. It's gonna give you the best experience and it's gonna give you a much larger experience. But the functionality and performance is gonna be exactly the same regardless of which direction you go. 
what I love about this though is that the performance and functionality is exactly the same as it would be on an original Wii console. Uh, obviously with a much more compact sort of setup and a portable setup. So it is really cool to be able to do all of this stuff on your Steam Deck. Just gives you even more options than I think most of us were even thinking of. So if you guys have any questions about this process or you know this setup in general, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video though, please leave a thumbs up on the video. It's a huge help to me here on YouTube growing this channel. And of course, hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop for all future videos here on the Retro Gaming Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.